Ready? Mm. Ah. Ha. Ha. ha! Told you I'd get it. Claudine, you are probably the only werewolf in the world that can do a vampire handshake. What? Come on, Ghoul. We're gonna be late for monster history. Draculaura! Claudine! Over here! We saved you a spot. All right, students. I trust you did the reading assignment on prominent vampire families throughout history. Yes? Um, Mr. Dracula, I couldn't do the reading because I accidentally took Deuce's history book by mistake. Oh, yeah, uh, because I took Wraith's book. Ugh. Those of you who did do the reading should be all up to speed about the history of the Royal Van Bat family. I can't imagine what it must have been like to be part of such a powerful family. Speaking as a royal heiress myself, I can tell you it's pretty great. People do whatever you want, they give you presents. I highly recommend it. Dad? Um, Mr. Dracula? <laughs> Vampires live for thousands of years. Wouldn't that mean members of the Van Bat family might still be out there somewhere? A good question, Draculaura. But the Van Bat family all but vanished when humans arrived in Transylvania. Mm, what about these rumors about the secret Van Bat princess? I believe they were just that. Rumors. If there was a Van Bat princess living in Transylvania, I'm sure we would know about it. But what if the rumor is true? What if she's out there, all alone? Maybe we could use the monster map log to go find her. The monster what-a-what? -what? The monster map log It can locate any monster in the world. Just say the name of the monster you're looking for and zap! The map log will teleport you right to them. It's what Draculaura used to find me, and Cleo, and basically most of the students here. If there is a Van Bat princess out there, she deserves to know that she's welcome here at Monster High. I appreciate your concern, Draculaura. But even if there is a princess, we don't know her first name. And without the full name of a monster, the Mapalog won't be able to find her. Now, let's move on to notable ghosts and phantoms in the late 16th century. That's it! <sighs> Van Bat. Lost Princess Exto Monster. And where do you think you're teleporting to at this time of night? To, uh, the Creepateria? Uh, for a glass of water? Teleporting is so much faster than walking all those stairs. <laughs> Draculaura? Uh, I was going to look for the Van Bat Princess. And how did you expect to find her? You know the map log won't work without her first name. Not true. I figured out that if you know a few things about the monster, like that she's a vampire and a princess, the map log will teleport me someplace that's close to the princess. Someplace close. Close-ish. So in other words, you have no idea where you were going. But, yeah, not a clue, no. Draculaura, you are my daughter, the fright of my life and I simply cannot allow you to go out teleporting to mystery locations all by yourself. Then I won't go by myself. <laughs> mm. oh, what is this? What are the smiles? You said I couldn't go look for the Van Bat Princess alone. Well, as you can see, I'm not alone anymore. Do the smiles again. <laughs> Draculaura? Dad, this is a team of the most talented special ghouls I know. Frankie's got the brains, Laguna's amazingly athletic, and Claudine is fierce and determined. And I'm all those things, and, well, me! 
Dad, do you remember what Unlife was like before we created Monster High? I was alone, cooped up in my room with no other monsters to turn to. But now we have a place to call our own. If there is a vampire princess, then she's probably just like I used to be. And deserves to be told there's a whole school of monsters waiting to welcome her home. She's good. Do you ghouls promise to look out for each other? Yes. And do you promise to wear helmets and life jackets and sunscreen when appropriate? Yes. Okay, you can go. Yes! <laughs> we can go! But first, we do research. Aww. Hey, I just said you can go. Be excited about the research, huh? Yay, research! I have assembled everything we know about the Royal Van Vat family. Where they lived, family history, last known whereabouts. So organized. And it's got that new binder smell. Van Bats lived in Transylvania for centuries, so that's probably where the mapologue will take you. But remember, you could find yourselves anywhere. So stay alert. Any questions? Yes. Does rescuing a lost vampire princess count as extra credit? Because my average in mad science class could really use a little love. Uh, you're in charge of this. And that lost princess Exto Monstrum! We made it! That means there must be a Van Bat princess! Hello? Princess Van Bat? <sighs> Wait a minute. This castle definitely belongs to the Van Bats. Look! Uh, what are we looking at? There on the door. That's the Van Bat family crest. Or part of it. It was in Mr. Dracula's research. Didn't you ghouls read it? I skimmed it. Oh, thanks, Dad. Oh, look at this place. It's like going back in time to a different century. I don't know, Draculaura. It doesn't look like anyone's lived here for years. But the Van Bats lived here at some point. Spread out and look around. Maybe we'll find a clue about where they've gone. <sighs> hey, ghouls, take a look at this. That bag totally goes, Cleo, but is now really the time to be accessorizing? This bag is from last season. I know I have five, which means... Somebody does live here! <laughs> Cleo! We have to figure out where it goes. It goes outside. It's a slide that sent me back outside of the castle. Keep your eyes peeled for more trap doors! Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> They're everywhere! Let's get to the door, mate! Someone clearly does not want us to be here. That makes no sense. I'm welcome everywhere I go. Hmm. Wonder if that's the ghoul we're looking for. Draculaura, let's do that vampire handshake one more time. Right now? Trust me. Mm. Vampires know that handshake. How do you know how to do that? Because my best school friend is a vampire. Wait, you're friends with a werewolf? How is that possible? Well, that's how things are at Monster High. Monster High? Yep. Imagine a place where all different kinds of monsters and ghouls are together under one roof. Everyone is welcome at Monster High. And we have a pretty decent Taco Tuesday in the Creepateria. I've been hiding here all by myself for so long. I know how you feel. But Monster High sounds like a place I would very much like to go to. Uh, sorry about the trap door thing. <laughs> oh, don't worry. No biggie. All right, ghouls. My name is Vangelica, and I'm ready to go to Monster High. Monster High, Exto 
for the new ghoul. She's been smiling from fang to fang all week. I can't thank you ghouls enough for helping me find her. I couldn't have done it without you. Hey, any time. You know you can always count on us. Do you really mean that? Because finding Fangjelica got me thinking. There must be thousands of lost monsters in hiding out there just waiting to be found. And if I'm going to find them all, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Well, you've got to admit, we make a pretty creeperific team. We're like professional monster finders. Oh, we should have a name. And a theme song. Oh, and cool action poses. Maybe we should just start with the name. <laughs> Any ideas? How about the Ghoul Squad? Oh, Ghoul Squad. Seriously, though, we should totally think about getting our own theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Ghoul Squad. What are we doing? Oh, sorry, Cleo. The ghouls and I were just poking around online for monsters in hiding. You know, monster sightings, rumors, legends. Anything to get the Ghoul Squad back out there and bring another lost monster back to the school. Hmm, I see. You know, ghouls, I am all for finding more lost monsters out there. But we just got back from our first adventure. Doesn't the Ghoul Squad deserve a little break between missions? Oh, beauty! Here's one, mates! It says here there's some kind of monster living on this tropical island. Tropical? Island? Like beaches and palm trees, tropical island? <laughs> what are we waiting for, ghouls? Let's move, move, move! We have a monster to save. Go. Ah, Draculora ghouls, come quick. I have something to show you. Since I'm going to be helping you ghouls with monster research, I said to myself, Dracula, you have been reading the same old dusty books for a millennia. Isn't it about time for an upgrade? Ta-da! Wow! With this bad boy, I can track your locations, look up thousands of years of monster history, and have total access to the internet! Uh, you do know you can do all of that with just an eye coffin? Oh. <sighs> How can I be of assistance? Look, Mr. Dracula, the Ghoul Squad has found their next mission. Hmm, the island of Gunung Barapi. Can you tell us anything about it, Mr. Dracula? Specifically, where are the best beaches? Are there private cabanas? Let's see, uh, wait a second, hold on. Uh, oh. Is this it? Oh, how do I? No, ah, that's not right. You know what? Here, Gunung Barapi, volcanic island. The volcano is inactive, so it's not dangerous. Oh, stay away from any wildlife you may encounter. Okay, let's go find our monster. Yes, please. Do -do -do -do. I... I'm sorry, Cleo, but you will be sitting this one out. What? But sand and sand. You failed to turn in your humanology assignment. No homework, no ghoul squad. The rest of you are free to go. Be careful out there. But. Sand. Sorry, ghoul friend. Ganang Barapi Exto Monstrum! Crikey! Look at those waves! Once we find our monster, we might have to squeeze in a little surfing before we go. Might be sooner than you think. Look, those footprints sure look monstery to me. My ghoul? How cute is that? <laughs> it's a spider monkey. <laughs> Aw, I'm gonna call you Dr. Monkenstein. Careful, Draculaura. Your dad said we should stay away from the wildlife on this island. Aw, <laughs> this isn't wildlife. This is Dr. Monkenstein. <laughs> oh, the mapalog. We need that to get back to Monster High. That's a bad Monkenstein. Bad. You ghouls keep looking for our monster. Draculaura and I will go get the mapalog back. Come on! Oh. 
Oh, I would be really mad right now if that monkey weren't so frustratingly adorable. <laughs> no, no, no. Confound it all! I think I finally figured this thing out. It's possessed by some vampire curse. Ugh. Mr. Dracula, they're just touch screens. Look, just tap here, swipe here, and there. See? Okay, tap, swipe. I can do that. Okay, maybe it is cursed. <laughs> Look at that. I found a couple of scales. Hmm. Combine that with the webbed footprints, and I'd say we're looking for a water monster like me. Do you think we should go back to the beach, start checking the ocean? Nah, only a saltwater monster would be able to live in that ocean. These are freshwater scales, which means our monster has to be somewhere on this island. Well, where would you go if you lived here? Somewhere where I could see the ocean. Oh, bet the view from up there is closer. I thought Mr. Dracula said that volcano wasn't active. Huh. Who would have guessed his collection of bazillion-year-old books might be out of date? Let's hope those ghouls aren't having any trouble getting their map -a back. That's it, little guy. Stay nice and still. No, 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 no! Uh, no. Yeah. is really trying my patience. Uh, I know. But do you think my dad will let me keep him? <laughs> yes. Uh, you. Uh. Uh, you're not just going to throw all of those away. Sure I am. Here, I'll do it again. Feels good. Mr. Dracula, you've got to keep trying. Once you get with the times, you'll be able to do so much more for the Ghoul Squad. Cleo, I have been getting along just fine for thousands of years with the books in this library. What could those screens possibly do that these books can't? Uh, you can watch Wear Kitten videos on them. Oh. oh delightful. Absolutely delightful. Or what do you ghouls say? Fantastic, <sighs> right? <laughs> Oh, 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 you have to come see this one. But my report. Forget the report. This were kitten thinks he's able to make the big jump onto the couch, but no, oh, I don't want to spoil it for you. He, he, he doesn't make the jump. Oh. Hmm. Just look at that view! Oh, can you believe Cleo and the other ghouls are missing all this? Yeah, poor them. <laughs> Remember, mate, don't look down. And hold on tight. This volcano could start shaking at any second. Oh! <laughs> excited as you, ghoul. But could you pull me up? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you were right, Laguna. This is a pretty creeperific place to make a home. Yeah, but believe it or not, I'm actually just now thinking it might be time for a move. Then you're in luck. Gil. Gil, I'm Laguna. That's Claudine. We're here to tell you about a place where everybody's welcome. It's called Monster High. Go, Dr. We Frankenstein! Need that map log to teleport! Teleport! I got it! Claudine, Exto Monstrum! <laughs> oh, good! They brought the monkey! <laughs> Ghoul's Gil! Gil, 
Pickles! Hello! Hello! Now that we got that out of the way, think we can map-log ourselves away from the big angry volcano? All right, here we go! Cleo Exto Monstrum! It must be out of power because somebody used it over and over again. <laughs> Can't Frankie zap it or something? It doesn't use electricity. It's got some kind of monster energy. It recharges on its own, so we just need a few minutes. We don't have a few minutes. We have to get away from this volcano. Bam! Hey, you ghouls know how to use those? <laughs> yeah, we do. You said you wanted to go surfing, Laguna. Not quite what I had in mind. Woo. Whoa, big drop Ooh. up ahead. Volcano, you might as well do it on a surfboard. Am I right? <laughs> ooh, ooh, close some timing, Mapalog. Leo, Exto Monstro! <laughs> you ghouls are just in time. My assignment is done, and I'm free to go on an island adventure. I'll get my sunscreen and floppy hat. Yeah. That island is kind of, sort of, about to get destroyed by a volcano. I just wrote a 13-page essay. Volcano or not, I'm going to that beach. Please, Please. don't just be silly. Drop the Let me go. I have to go. Have you ghouls ever seen a were kitten sneeze? Because I have. <laughs> So, you're saying that humans don't like dirt? It's strange to us monsters, but no, they do not like dirt. That's weird. Do they like mud? Nope. Dust? No. That fuzzy stuff that comes out of your belly button? Uh, no, Deuce, but uh, nobody likes that. The important takeaway here is that humans do not like to be dirty. Just one of the many facts you'll be quizzed on during tomorrow's big humanology test. Oh. Uh, what? Don't oh me. As long as you've been reading your humanology textbook, you'll be fine. Gee, we sure covered a lot about humans this semester. You think the Ghoul Squad is up for this mission? Bring it on, test. Bring on. Okay, easy on the electrodes, ghoul friend. We talked about this. Any idea what's eating gob? Mm. I think the more appropriate question is, what is gob eating? Oh yeah, uh, gob hasn't read a single page of the humanology book this semester. Poor guy is so not ready for the big test tomorrow. <laughs> Does someone need to show him that's not how books work? Oh, hey, Angelica. Are you ready for your very first school's night? It's going to be fang -arific. You mean fantastic? I mean fantastic. Since Fangelica spent all those years alone in her family's castle, she's never had a proper ghoul's night before. So tonight, Draculana is going to show me how it's done. Well, you're in good course, Fangelica. Nobody throws a ghoul's night like Draculaura. Some monsters paint, others make music, I encourage cool friends to stay up past their bedtime. <laughs> I can't wait. See you tonight. <laughs> okay, let's see. Popcorn is popping. Playlist is playlisting. Uh, how are those favors coming, Webby? Draculaura! How can you possibly study with that music so loud? <laughs> what is all this? I was, uh, kind of, sort of, maybe, possibly going to have Fangelica over for a ghoul's night, maybe? Oh, well, I was kind of, sort of, maybe, possibly going to tell you that you have a big test tomorrow. So no friends over tonight. Uh, but, Dad, I studied all day. I'm ready for the test. And this ghoul's night is really important to Fangelica. I don't want to cancel. As your father and your teacher, 
I cannot allow you to stay up late with friends tonight. What if Angelica and I study together? Then can she come over? Please? All right. But only for study. No movies, no music, and no... whatever that is Webby's making. <coughs> Remember, study, study, study. Study. Check our eye coffins to see if any of our fave celebs have posted in the last eight minutes. Draculaura! Gob ran away from school and we don't know where he went. Are you sure? Yeah, <sighs> I'm sure. We need the monster map to find him and bring him back. Oh, sorry, Fangelica. Looks like we're going to have to cut tonight a little short. Mm. No, no, no. We've got this, Draculaura. There's no way we're letting you cancel your ghoul's night. You mean our study night, in which we study? Right. Anyway, don't worry about us. The ghoul squad is on the case. Yeah, it's just Gob. How much trouble could he possibly cause? Gob, Exto, Monstrum! Oh, my ghoul, we're in a store for humans. Oh, my ghoul, look at the sale prices. What? Somebody has to be the positive one. Looks like the store is closed, so there won't be any humans to worry about for a few hours. All right, Ghoul Squad. Let's spread out and look for clues. I found the clue. <laughs> hey, Gob. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. I know you're stressed, but we're going to teleport you back to Monster High. And help you study for the human test. Oh, the map -log. So, are we good? Did we save the day and all that? <laughs> Done! Wow! That's got to be some kind of a record! Now you try! back. Crikey, look at all this mess. The humans are not going to like this. Remember what Mr. Dracula said? Humans hate dirt. Oh, what was that? I just had a really good idea. Well, next time, how about having a so-so idea? The really good ones hurt. All right, Gob. It's okay that you're not ready for the test tomorrow. Because the Ghoul Squad is going to give you a crash course on humanology. 
This is a back scratcher, because humans are itchy and have no claws. This is a phone. It's kind of like an eye coffin, but not nearly as cool. And this hideous thing is called a neckerchief. <laughs> I know, I find them equally terrifying. Gob isn't afraid of the humanology test. It was the mannequin! He's afraid of humans. That's why he hasn't done any of the reading or homework. There has to be some way to help Gob get over his fear. Hmm. You're sure it's not the neckerchief? Look at this thing. It's just awful. <laughs> okay, Vangelica. Truth or scare? Oh, um... Truth! You are not studying. You are playing! <laughs> Dracula, I thought I made myself clear. Tomorrow's test is very important. I know, Dad, it is. But this is important, too. Hilarious hats? No, I mean, we're spending time with other monsters. This is the one place in the whole entire world where I can stay up late with a girlfriend. That's just like me. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? What? Yes, I'm fine. It's nothing. Hey, Dad. Truth or scare? Truth or scare? You want me to pick? Huh, I'm not sure. I never played before. I guess I'll take scare. <laughs> oh, good one! <laughs> yes, Dad! Oh, so fun! I feel like a 1300-year-old again. <laughs> There. Perfect. You're going to blend right in with the human's gob. The best way to get over a fear is to face it head on. So you're gonna get out there and do something with the humans. Here, <gasps> go buy some socks. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> all <laughs> right! Now all you gotta do is read the book. Whoa! The ooze no longer has the blues. You ready for this human test, Gob? You kidding? Gob has been a human. He can handle a little test, no problem. Good morning, students, and goodbye, humanology test! <laughs> I had so much fun last night, I'm just not in a test giving mood! <laughs> this is the main hall at Monster High. You'll be spending a lot of time here between classes. And this is your new locker, complete with welcome to your new school care package. <laughs> and this is a classroom full of monster students that cannot wait to meet you. Everyone say hello to our newest classmate, Gil. Hi, Hi Gil. Gil. What's up? Hey. The girls and I just rescued Gil from a tropical island with an active volcano. I want to go to a tropical island. I want to go to an active volcano. It was a pretty creeperific island. Surfing in the morning, walks on the beach in the afternoon, sand between your webbed toes. <laughs> but Monster High seems really clawsome so far. Bet you're going to miss your island, huh? It's just, well, I had a lot of good times there. I guess I hate to think about that volcano making such a beautiful place disappear. What if there was a way to save your island? Yes! Let's save that island! I didn't get to go there yet. <laughs> also the cheer up Gil thing. The satellite shows the volcano has not yet erupted. But there's not much time left to save the island. Oh, and let's see. It says here that you've all gone completely batty and what makes you think I'm letting you go on volcano adventures? Oh, come on! Give us a chance, Mr. Dracula. You ghouls have any idea how we pull this off? Why don't you freeze the volcano? That's ridiculous. Where did you guys come from? Oh, uh, we just show up wherever volcanoes are being discussed. Wait a minute. Believe it or not, Wraith may actually be onto something. 
We could freeze the volcano with ice. Maybe there's a monster with ice powers out there somewhere. I can't believe I'm going to do this. <clears throat> there are rumors that the abominable snow monster had a daughter. A ghoul who harnesses the powers of ice. That's it! Ghoul Squad, we have our next mission. Save the snow monster, save the island. And save my weekend. Don't worry, Gil. The Ghoul Squad is on the case. Abominable Exto Monstrum! Cool! Ray, Deuce, I've been looking all over for you guys. Sorry, Ari. Volcanoes were being discussed. Well, you two promised you'd help me with my Dance the Fright Away music video. I have five million diehard fans expecting to see it tonight! I heard most of what you just said, but then I started thinking about volcanoes. Oh, which gives me an idea for the hottest music video ever! <laughs> You ghouls go on a mission, and you get to go to the beach. I come along, and I'm freezing my bandages off. <sighs> Anyone good at looking for snow clues? I'm more of a beach ghoul. Well, the map log teleported us directly in between these two towering mountains. I'm betting our lost ghoul is up on one of those. Frankie, you and Cleo take that mountain. Claudine Laguna and I will explore this one. Wait a sec. There's only two of us. We should take Icy Mountain and you take the snowy one. Works for me. Wait, I changed my mind. We should go with the original plan. All right. Wait. Pick, Pick a, a mountain. mountain! Okay. I want that one. Uh, what is that? A volcano. Yeah, you're gonna need these. What does a volcano have to do with my video? Don't you want this to be the most hottest, rockinest video ever? And there's nothing hotter or rockier than a volcano. <gasps> Music science! <laughs> the other mountain. We've got to focus on finding that snow ghoul. We're racing a ticking volcano clock here. Hmm, volcano. That sounds warm. Oh, you know what would help me focus? A little warm-up sparky spark. You want me to zap you with electricity? Well, don't zap me. But yes, zap in my general area. OK. One spark. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, my hands are so cold. If our mountain is this much trouble, I can only imagine how rough the other ghouls have it. <laughs> Aww. Everybody say selfie! Selfie! selfie. Okie dokie, we're at the top of the mountain. But still no clues to find our ghoul. Weird, right? How about that clue? That's a pretty good clue. Hmm. Who goes there? Uh, she does? <laughs> Visitors! I never get visitors. Please, come. May I offer you an ice tea, a snow cone, frozen pizza. I am Abby Abominable, by the way. Actually, Abby, we're here to invite you to a awesome place called Monster High. But first... We kinda sorta need a favor. We need your ice powers to freeze a volcano that's about to erupt and destroy our friend's island. You ghouls are making with joke. I like this. Now I will laugh at your joke. Ha! Huh. Oh, you are not making joke? No. Nope. You need ice powers? I am your ghoul. Now let's make that volcano chill out. 
You do not laugh at my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Abby. Let's go stop the volcano. Oh, but first we need to meet up with our ghoul friends on that other mountain. You have friends on that mountain? Uh, you say that like it's a bad thing. Oh, we definitely should have picked the other mountain. Is this going to be safe? Uh, we're wearing safety goggles. I've got to be honest, I was picturing something a little simpler, like, oh, I don't know, just dancing and singing with some ghoul friends. Right, right, that could work, but I'm not hearing a lot of volcano in that idea. <sighs> okay, let's shoot this thing. Cue the hot rock! Ready, set, and action! Oh no! Maybe we use too much fake lava. Do you think? We're alive! Wait, where's Ari? 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 Oh no, we volcanoed Ari! Ah! Escaping <gasps> fake lava is one of the best things about being a ghost. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't step on that crack. Oh, come on, Mountain! I didn't even step on the crack! What just happened? Hey, look! I found the ice school! There's no time to lose. Let's get back to the island and stop that volcano! Wait, doesn't there have to be a monster on the island for the map log to teleport us there? No problem. I remember one little monster that's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Munkenstein. Did we get here in time to stop the eruption? Yeah, we might want to hurry. Abby? Let's slide. Oh, okay, now I kind of miss the ice cold mountain. Abby <laughs> did it! Woo! Hey, you know what? I think this calls for a little island celebration. <laughs> I have regular and yuck milk. You too. Thank you for saving my home, ghouls. And for showing me Monster High. And for saving my weekend. Uh, hey, good work, guys. I get a video and a ghoul friend party. <laughs> and we got our volcano. Monkenstein? <clears throat> Let's see. Abby Abominable. I am present. Operetta? I'm here, y'all. Gil? <coughs> Gil? Gil! Ah! Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Dracula. I've been practicing my meditating. So, you are here? I'm here physically, yes. But ask yourself, are any of us really here? From now on, how about doing that somewhere that's not here? Hey, Venus, are you still good to come over for a ghoul's night? I sure am, Draculaura. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun, mate. We've got snacks and music and... And we're going to stay up all night long. Oh, Cleo, you always say you're going to stay up all night, and you're always the first one to fall asleep. Well, this time is going to be different. Just you wait. Cleo Denial is going to see the sunrise. <laughs> This might actually be a new record. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Uh, 
Can anyone hear me? Teresa! Oh my ghoul, is that you? Oh, thank Mother Earth. The pollen worked. It's good to see you, Venus. Teresa, is everything okay? No, it's Thorna. I... I'm calling because I need help from your friends you told me about. What are they called? The Ghoul Squad! Squad. Teresa lives in a beautiful garden with her sister, Thorna. They're the garden's protectors and defenders. No, no, you can have the first piece of cake. <gasps> first one to fall asleep at Ghoul's Night. Every time. Cleo! Uh, what? What happened? This is Teresa. She says she needs help from the Ghoul Squad. Oh, she knows about the Ghoul Squad. That means we're famous, finally. So what does she want, an autograph or something? I need you to stop my sister from destroying the garden. Oh. It doesn't make sense. Thorna has helped me take care of the garden for hundreds of years. But then a few days ago, she just uprooted herself and took off. Said something about making our garden disappear. Crikey, that's awful. I hate to ask, but Venus, can you and the Ghoul Squad find my sister and figure out what she's up to? Oh, don't worry, Teresa. We're going to find your sister and get to the bottom of this. Torna, ex to monstro! There she is. <gasps> yes, I've done it. Red pollen. At long last, I can finally make my plan blossom. Red pollen? She's making red pollen? No, not red pollen. Anything but red pollen. What's red pollen? It disintegrates any plant life it touches. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she sees us? Hello, you must be Thorna. Venus. Thorna, when Teresa finds out you're messing around with red pollen, Teresa isn't going to find out, because you're not going anywhere. We'll see about that. Teresa is... Oh, yeah, we're not going anywhere. <sighs> Fish Whoa, boy. what is this? Oh, hey, Abby. Welcome to my Zen garden. What is Zen garden? This like turnip garden? No, you just sit and meditate. Watch, like this. <gasps> what do you think? Think you look weak and vulnerable to your enemies. Shh, just give it a try. I promise you'll like it. <sighs> I am sitting, I am closing eyes, I am skeptical. Wait, wait a minute. I'm getting something. Yes, I think I'm doing it. You are right, fish boy. Your garden is most relaxing. <laughs> I think I have an idea that can get us out of this cage. Uh, she knows the rest of us can't do that, right? It's a long way down, so let's take it nice and slow before Thorno notices we're... She noticed. No plan. Go really fast! Hello. You must be Teresa. Okay, so the good news is we found your sister Thorna, and then she locked us in the cage. But other than that, I'd say it was a very productive first meeting. Thorna's figured out how to make red pollen. Oh, Thorna, no. She's making enough of the stuff to wipe out the entire garden. Ghoul Squad, I think it's time to fight pollen with pollen. <sighs> Phew! 
I don't know how this helps us. Hmm. Sorry, creating the right pollen is hard to control. Try this one. This is incredible! Woo! <laughs> oh, oh. I can fly! Whoa! Hang on, Venus, because here come the garden ghouls. Yeah. I'm trying to meditate. I know it looks tremendously boring, but I try and discover it only a little bit boring. All right, um, how does it work? You just sit and do whatever you can to empty your mind. Not uh. a problem. Boom ba ba doom ba boom ba boom boom ba ba doom ba boom ba doom ba ba doom ba you were right, Gil. This meditating junk is clawsum. Boom ba ba doom ba boom ba boom. You are quite good at this. You don't have to do this, Thorna. There isn't any other way. Besides, the plan is already in motion. Nothing can stop it. Except for the Garden Ghoul Squad. That's right, we can fly. And how creeperific do these wings look? I mean, seriously. <laughs> stop them! Whoa, spread out! <laughs> now, Teresa! Gotcha! <laughs> I'm going to show you one of my favorite moves! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Back here! Hey, Claudine! What am I? Ha! <laughs> A bug zapper. Good one. <laughs> well, I still have enough red pollen to destroy this garden ten times over. <gasps> <laughs> Why did you do it, Thorna? Why try and destroy our beautiful garden? Because all these years with my roots planted in the same place, I wanted to go explore, see the world, find out what else is out there beyond the garden. Oh, it's fantastic! You really should see Milan this time of year. I'm probably not helping, am I? If you want to go see the world, go see the world. I can't just leave you here to protect the garden all by yourself. You can't do it alone. <laughs> I won't be alone. If I need any help, I can always call the Garden Ghoul Squad. And if we ever need help studying for a botany test, we can call Teresa. Thank you, sister. Thank you, ghouls. Venus was right. You're all fantastic. <laughs> See you again, Bye, Teresa. Teresa. Bye, Teresa. Bye, Teresa. Monster high, extra monster. Um, you think we could have one more go at those butterfly wings? <laughs> that was close and fun. <laughs> sure. It's quite simple. Boom ba ba doom ba boom ba boom. Boom ba ba doom ba boom ba boom. Um, Gil, you okay? Why wouldn't I be okay? I'm in my Zen garden. Oh, I think he's about to pop. Hey, Gil, your Zen garden seems nice. But we just came back from a place that you might find a little more peaceful. Good morning, monsters! It's great to see everyone so active, busy, and... quiet? Too quiet. What is going on? We're playing crawlies. Oh, yes, of course, crawlies. <laughs> What's a crawly? 
<laughs> Only the hottest, most awesome game in the digital domain. Yeah, you use your eye coffin to find little <laughs> goblins and snap pictures to capture them. And I'm gonna be the first to collect them all. Gotcha! <laughs> really should give bonus points for sticking the landing. <laughs> this crawlies does not seem safe. Uh, it's just a phone game. <laughs> what could go wrong? Don't worry, Wraith. We'll get you out of there. No rush. There's some crawlies in here. <laughs> Come here, you. Ooh, you. Oh, I don't know which of mine is the most adorbs. Bloopsie, Plufkin's a burgle boo. I just love them all so much. Show me your favorite. I haven't even gotten one yet. What? Not sure if it's my aim or my camera or my... Oh, oh, here's one. Oh, so you think you're funny for a ball? How about you laugh at this? Ow! Sorry! Not playing for all these, Frankie? No time. I'm running a scan on the map log to see if I can discover more of its abilities. Plus, I've already racked up a Voltage score of 5,000 anyway. That's awesome! Cleo's got zero. Let's go, Claudine. I've got some crawly catching catching up to do. Since the map log has the power to teleport the ghoul squad to lost monsters, I wonder if I can reverse its polarity to bring those monsters to us. Ah, who am I kidding? Crawlies, here I come! Hello, ghouls! How's your crawlies? Oh no, the crawlies got me! Get them off! Help! Get them! They are, um, crawling on me! Oh no! That's it! We vampires are taking a day off from phones! Uh. But I promise we're going to have fun! We're going to do what I did as a little bitty bat! We're gonna be junior vampioneers! I'm taking you away from technology and into an outdoorsy camping adventure! <laughs> we get to be vampioneers! <laughs> what a fantastic idea, Dad! <laughs> <gasps> Admiral Tickles! The rarest of all crawlies! And now you're all mine! Oh no! No battery! Wait right wherever it is you are, little guy! I'll be right back once I get... A jumbo phone to hold even more crawlies! Admiral Tickles, you're all mine. Crikey! Triple crikey! Ah, welcome to the great outdoors. No noise, no screens, no internet. Actually, I've got four bars. Yep, me too. Yeah, well, that's great. But we vampioneers have no use for technology because we know that nature is the only thing we need to find shelter, food, and fire. Ah, shelter sticks. Perfect to build an all-natural nature palace. Um, Dad, I don't think you should... Draculaura. We don't need our phones in the woods. Right, but you might not want to... Please, relax, ghouls. I know what I am doing. These leaves are poisonous, aren't they? Good to know. <laughs> Ooh, right when I started to think I was never going to catch one of you. <clears throat> Okay, I am really bad at this. Oh, this game just got real. Gotcha! I think that's the last one. There's more of them? A lot more! Somehow, I made the crawlies real! And I need to find a way to get rid of them before anyone finds out. Your weird secret is safe with me. Aw, look at these little guys. Can I keep them? Oh, aren't their love bites the cutest? We have to get rid of them, like now. Aw, oh, we will, once we figure out how to stop that. Ah, 
Recovering from face lumpies has made me hungry. Who wants to help me forage for food? I can look up what's yummiest. No, thank you. I'm going to use everything I think I remember from my vampire near days. Ooh, there it is. No poisonous. Then we'll eat this. No poisonous and also gross. Not food. Uh, there's got to be something out here in nature that is actual food. Oh, honey! It's nature's candy. We don't really have to tell you not to do that, do we? Don't worry about me getting stung. I bite back. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, ah, the stinging! So many stings! Ow! Ah! Squad, we have our mission. Get rid of all the crawlies before Mr. Dracula expels us from Monster High for destroying Monster High. Yeah. You know what's funny? Usually our mission is to bring monsters to the school, not the other way around. What? You don't think that's funny? You hear that, crawlies? You're coming with us. Look, they're listening to us. Come on, Crawly. <laughs> oh, they're biting me. <laughs> it's kissing me. <laughs> Let me guess. You downloaded Crawlies onto the map log. I didn't think I... Oh, yep. I totally did do that. This should close the portal. Now what, mate? Now I upload a new code to everyone's eye coffins. And we take this game to the next level. The last crawly, mates. I'd like to do the honors. Goodbye, world's cutest infestation. Wait, can't we just keep this one last love bitey crawly? He's so cute and huggable and lovable. And what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Quick, everyone aim and snap. Now! Oh. It ate all our batteries. Whatever we do, we have to keep it away from electricity. <gasps> okay, I guess that is the worst that can happen. Sure, we've got no food and no shelter, but I'm going to get us fine, no matter what. Dad, you uh, need any help? Thank you, but all a true vampire near needs are these two sticks. <laughs> Two sticks. Just these two sticks. Two sticks. Two sticks. Oh no! My sticks! They're gone! No! How long has he been at this? Long enough. Dad, we appreciate the time and effort you put in today. So you'll get me more sticks? But what's really important isn't necessarily nature time or screen time. It's the time we spend together, like now. And especially during your silly bee mission. <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> so silly and so painful. Which gives me an idea of how to make a campfire. What's that? Duh, I used your phones to order some dinner. On food. Well, Dad, you figured out food on fire. How about shelter? You ghouls actually want to sleep out here? Uh, uh no. no. Woo, me neither. Then let's head back to Monster High and safety. Monster High is not safe! <laughs> I can't open, open the door! door. I don't know what's worse, getting eaten by a crawly, or what's gonna happen when Mr. Dracula sees this disaster. Huh? 
I finally caught one. I finally caught one. Mission accomplished. Good work, ghoul squad. Hello! We're back. Now break out your phones. Let's try and catch me a crawly. Sorry, we're taking an eye coffin break. Yeah, screens are like so five seconds ago. Oh, I see. Then who's ready to become a vampire? Goose? Oh, oh, how about this song? Voltageous. Let's add it to the playlist. I can't thank you ghouls enough for helping Frankie and me with our mad science project. Venus and I are finally going to discover once and for all if monster plants respond to different kinds of music. And I'm finally going to discover whether my good side is on the left or the right. Ah, <sighs> science. Huh, this is interesting. My selfie science? No, I mean, I was searching for some music and found this story about some kind of... Musical ghost. The Phantom of the Caverns. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found our next lost monster. Good luck, ghouls. Venus and I have some sciencing to do. See you when you get back. Oh, um, Torrelai, you're standing in our way. <laughs> well, if it isn't the ghoul squad. That's ghoul squad. Wait, that's what you said, isn't it? Never mind! Tarali, can we just get by, please? Not if you're here for another one of those rescue missions. Quit bringing new monsters to the school. We already have a me. We don't need any more. What are you doing in the library anyway? What? I happen to love books. Can't a weird cat enrich her curious mind? I released a zombie hamster in the creepetaria, and Mr. Dracula gave me a week of library duty. Don't lie? Yes, Mr. Dracula. Oh, Dad, did you get my text about the phantom? I did, and it's a fascinating ghost story. It started when some humans investigating ancient ruins began to hear mysterious music coming from a nearby cave system. And the Totally! What? Oh, follow the music, and you'll find your phantom. Oh, oh my gosh, I've so learned so much! Ah, <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm Mr. Dracula. <laughs> hey, what's this? <laughs> Phantom Cavernous Musicales, Exto Monster! Exto, wait a second! I want to go with you on that mission thingy. Okay, Torlai has completely lost it. Torlai, put your arms above your head and take deep breaths. I'm serious. I've been doing some soul searching and realized that maybe you girls are onto something helping lost monsters. Really? You told us not to go looking for lost monsters like seven minutes ago. I'm a fast soul searcher. I say she can come with us. You sure about that, ghoul friend? Seeing the ghoul squad in action might do Torrelai some good. Besides, everyone's entitled to a second chance. Or, you know, a 481st chance. Come on, Torrelai, you're in. Classum! <laughs> Phantom Cavernous Musicalis, Exto Monstrum! Is it moving? No, it's not moving. Are you sure? It looks like it's moving. Oh, it's not moving. We're almost out of music. Come on, buddy. Give us something. Frankie, is my head moving? Nope. Is mine? No. -uh. Which means... That planet is rocking, rocking out! out! This is fantastic! Oh, let's see what other music it likes. Oh, okay, okay. Or we could listen to this a little longer. Hey, I can hear music. It's this one, definitely. Follow the music and we find our phantom. Which way do we go, Claudine? It's hard to pinpoint the sound. I I think the music is coming from that way. Great. You ghouls go that way. I'll go check out this other tunnel. But, Claudine.
Claudine says she hears music coming from that way. Um, I actually hear music coming from this tunnel. You ghouls don't hear it? Uh, uh, listen. Come on, Torelai. The ghoul squad is sticking together. Ugh, fine. I don't get it. This is where the music is the loudest, but it's a dead end. Now what do we do? Pretty good. <laughs> this is so exciting! The stories about the Phantom of the Caverns turned out to be true. <laughs> yeah, I do believe I had a hand in those ghost stories. When I heard some humans poking around out there, I started playing my music extra loud to give them a little fright. That's pretty clever, Operetta. <laughs> Well, I had to do something to keep them out of these caverns, on account of all the diamonds. Wait, diamonds? Where? Where diamonds? You're telling me you made it all the way through these caverns without looking down? We've been walking on diamonds this whole time? These caves used to belong to an ancient civilization and stored all their treasures in here. The diamonds don't mean much to me, but listen to those acoustics. Oh, I always wanted to make a diamond angel. Dreams do come true. Well, help yourselves. Take a few diamonds for the road if you like. But whatever you do, do not touch the Great Diamond. The Great Diamond? Who took the Great Diamond? What? I didn't take it. Okay, I took those diamonds, but I didn't take the Great... Okay, I took the Great Diamond. You knew these caves were filled with diamonds. That's why you wanted to come with us. I may have seen something about something on the computer thing. We've got to get to getting out of here while we have the chance. There are dire consequences for anybody that takes that diamond. What kind of dire consequences? Big, rumbly, rock-falling consequences. Draculaura, quick! We can teleport with the Mephalog. Monster High Exto Monstrum! It's not Exto Monstrum, Ming. Maybe we're too far underground for it to work. Don't know much about teleporting, but I do know every nook and cranny of these caverns like the back of my banjo. Follow me! But you ghouls love a wild adventure, and you definitely got one. So, you're welcome? 
Okay, uh, how about I split some of the diamonds with you? No? Okay, more diamonds for me then. <gasps> well, ghouls, looks like I'm in need of a new place to call home. Oh, then it's a good thing we're here to tell you about a place called Monster High. you to keep playing. It's going to take a lot more than a leaky roof to stop the first Monster High art show. What do you girls think? I love it. It's the most voltageous sculpture I ever saw. What is it? I call it the Fang Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Your painting is creeperific, Laguna. <laughs> Thanks. I love art you can surf on. Ooh, Cleo, this is cool. Where's yours, Claudine? Uh, yes, where's this masterpiece I keep hearing about? Oh, it'll be worth the wait, Mom. I've got two words to describe it. Claw some. <laughs> well, I hope it's waterproof. You've got nothing, huh? Nope. Are you freaking out? What? Me? No. Totally. Who does all around, ghouls? Your artwork is inspiring. Um, Dad, when are you going to fix this roof? Oh, a few drips never hurt anybody. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this roof. <laughs> we might need a few more buckets. And maybe a new roof. This school needs a gargoyle. But don't gargoyles just sit around and do nothing? Actually, if they have a sore throat, they gargoyle every hour. <sighs> but seriously, that's what it looks like to the human eye. But gargoyles are not only protectors. They are some of the hardest working monsters in the world. And they happen to be expert roof fixers. When no one is looking, they fix the roofs they're sitting on. Where do we find a gargoyle? Usually in old cities like Budapest, Bucharest. But the best gargoyles are in Paris. Because Paris has the best of everything. The best perfume, the best shopping, the best fries. And how is any of this going to help you find a gargoyle? Oh, it's not. But it's going to help us have an amazing time in Paris while we're looking for a gargoyle. <gasps> Good luck, Ghoul Squad. Remember, don't let the humans see you. Gargoyle Exto Monstrum in Paris! <laughs> Paris! We are going to have so much fun here. You know we're here to find a gargoyle. Of course, but that could take hours, days, weeks. And until we find the gargoyle, there's no reason we can't... Oh, there's one. Come on. <sighs> you girls take the stairs while I take a shortcut. Forgive me, mon petit bat, but I cannot allow you to perch on my pristine rooftop. Shoo. That's a fine how do you adieu. Hmm. I am so sorry, mon ami. I did not know you were a fellow monster. My name is Rochelle. Et tu? Laguna, Frankie, Cleo. And I'm Draculaura. We've got a terrible leaky roof problem at our school. You ghouls attend school? With humans? No, it's a school just for monsters. You'd love it. Maybe I would. 
But I must fix this roof first, and that is proving to be quite difficult. Why is that? Roxpierre. What's a Roxpierre? Uh, that is a Roxpierre. Oh. So, oh. how's your art project coming, sweet pup? Oh, almost done. I'm just taking a break and trying to stop this monster flood. Uh, have to wait till tomorrow with the rest of the art lovers. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, Abby! Claudine, you are lying. No, I'm not. Now you are lying about lying. Okay, I may have been bending the truth a little bit. I'm trying to think of an awesome art project, but it's tough with all this dripping water. Perhaps Abby can help. Ah! Oh, oh, wow, nice fix. But it's only temporary, like life. Soon it will melt and the dripping will begin again. Gee, the ice is... Cold and hard, like life. You're a regular ray of sunshine. I was going to say the ice is pretty. It's almost like art. Would you help me with something else? This sound more fun than bowl of cold beet soup. Um, everything is more fun than a bowl of cold beet soup. <sighs> okay, well, the big question is... What time does that perfume shop open? I was going to say, why is Roxpierre destroying this roof? That's also a good question. Je ne sais pas. Gargoyles are bone protectors, and fixing roofs is a big part of that. But this Roxpierre is fou. Fou? That is French for crazy scary. And here comes that crazy foo now. I think it's time we have a talk with Roxpierre. Come on, girls. Ah! Pierre decides to dive bomb this roof, we'll be ready for him with an amazing plan to trap him. Now, does anyone have an amazing plan? I know. I'm going to go for a walk to clear my head and think of a great plan to catch Rox Pierre. And go window shopping. Uh, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> have fun, but watch out for humans. <laughs> Even the glass smells good. Huh? Rocks, Pierre. <laughs> now, how did Rochelle do it again? Place the wood down, position the nail, hammer the nail. Miss the nail completely, hit the finger, and ow! I'll never be a good gargoyle. So, he's not a bad gargoyle. He's just really bad at fixing roofs. I think he keeps making holes in your roof so he can watch how you fix them over and over because he's too embarrassed to ask for help. Cleticulous. I would have been glad to help him. Wow. Really good work, Cleo. Thank you. Now, let's all enjoy a nice celebratory spritz. Oh, that burning <laughs> sensation means we smell classy. Aha! I thought I heard you sneaking around out here. I wasn't sneaking. I was just, uh, walking as quietly as I could so you wouldn't hear me. So, you were sneaking? Maybe a little. So, how's it going in there? Great. See you at the art show. I hope this works. We'll find out. Incoming! <laughs> Are you mad? You look mad. Let's just say I'm going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Huh? 
Okay. Now this is how you fix a roof. I did it! So no more making holes, only fixing holes. Right? Right, like a good gargoyle, because I am a good gargoyle who knows how to fix roofs. <laughs> Thanks, Rochelle. Ghouls, you are all the best. I'm going to fix that. Well, I think we'd better get back to Monster High before it floats away. Wanna come, Roxpierre? Merci, but I have many, many roofs to fix, most of which I have damaged myself. Bon voyage, Ghouls! Now let's see what we can do about your leaky roof. Great job with the roof. It looks perfect. Merci. Claudine, can we finally see your art project? Here it is. I dyed the water different colors, and then Abby froze it for me, and then I sculpted it. It is cold. You mean cool. No, I mean cold. Ice is cold. So, Mom, worth the wait? Definitely worth the wait. This school is magnifique. I would love to stay here longer, but I must be going. Going? Going where? Such is the unlife of a gargoyle. I fix roofs, and this roof is perfect. So it is time for me to leave and find another roof to fix. Wait, um, uh, uh, you know it rains here a lot, and this roof could spring a leak at any minute. Right, ghouls? Right! This place is practically falling down around us. In fact, I think I see a crack in the ceiling already. Well... There. Hmm. Well, if the roof is needing more repairs, I guess I'll just have to stick around and help. We? We! We! Talent show tomorrow! Don't forget to sign up for the talent show! I can't wait to see how talented! That? Uh -oh. And safe you all will be! Mm. Man. Who knew Monster High had so much creeperific talent? I heard Operetta was thinking about playing her own version of a Catty Noir song on her banjo. Oh, I love Catty Noir. It's too bad she doesn't perform in public anymore. Wait, why doesn't Catty Noir perform anymore? You're kidding, right? How can you not know what happened at our last show, Cleo? I know what happened. I was asking for Dragulora in case she doesn't know. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, just tell me. Just watch. <laughs> you know, as members of the Ghoul Squad, it's our job to rescue monsters that are missing. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Hmm. Oh, sure. When I want to use a map log to go hang out with rich and famous celebrities, you tell me no. Now, all of a sudden, it's a great idea. One day to go, and I've still got no talent to show, mate. I haven't figured out mine either, Laguna. Maybe if I add my half-talent to your half-talent, we could make up one great talent. Hmm, your talent math checks out. <laughs> Let's go! Catty Noir Exto Monstro! Oh. Mm, that's oh. my foot! Ow! <clears throat> my new I shoes! I can hear her. That's definitely Caddy Noir's voice. But where are we? I can't see a thing. Hold your head up high. Oh. Look oh. up into oh. the oh. night. <gasps> it's her. Well, don't stop singing on account of us. Go on, ghoul friend. You sounded fantastic. Where did you come from? A place we like to call Monster High. That's Cleo, Claudine, and I'm Draculaura. Nice to meet you, ghouls. I'm Caddy Noir. We know. Well, congratulations. You're the only monsters that have heard me sing since... Well, I'm sure you've seen the video. <laughs> what video?
video. <laughs> video? Ooh, What's no a video? No idea what you're talking about. Oh, uh, who cares about that video? Your fans want to see you back on that stage. Yes, you can't let one incy weensy little accident keep you from performing. You saw the size of that star, right? That's a pretty big star. I think about getting on stage and performing every single day. The thought of facing a big crowd full of monsters. What about a smallish crowd of monsters, huh? What do you mean? You should come sing in the Monster High Talent Show. Oh, I don't know. I'm not really ready to put on a big show. Oh, it won't be big. Just a small little teeny tiny warm-up concert. A way to get back on your paws. Teeny tiny, huh? Well, that sounds okay. Then it's settled. You'll come to Monster High, sing in the talent show, and I'll be your new manager in exchange for 10% of your ticket sales. Oh, wait. What was that last one? Monster High Exo Monstro! <laughs> a place to put our talent show trophy. Oh, crikey. That's a good act. We've got work to do. Okie dokie, Kathy. We have the stage all day for you to rehearse before the talent show. So feel free to sing whenever you're ready. Here, I'll play a little shooting stars on my eye coffin to get you started. R wrong video. <laughs> I'm just not sure I'm ready to look like that on stage again. Oh, well, you're not going to look like that again because we're going to give you a new look with a little pop star makeover. I'll bet the new look would help you get back on stage. Yeah, a Fantastic makeover. Fantastic idea. A new look. I guess we could give it a try. Now that we found Caddy's new look, we've got to work on some new moves. That's why I brought you to Operetta. Not only does she sing, she can groove. You ready to dance, darling? I call this the Phantom Two-Step. You'll just follow along and try to keep up. I'm not sure this dance is me. Keep going, Caddy. These pics are going to make a creeperific album cover. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, ooh. Well, we won't be using that one. Uh. Behold! Our talent show winning talent contraption is complete. It's... So beautiful. Time to get it to the stage. It's too big. Without this thing, we've got no talent to show at the talent show. We're doomed. So doomed. doomed. Kathy's new look, check. New moves, check. Now it's time to add some spectacle. I put in a call to the greatest stage effects team in all of showbiz. But they were unavailable, so we got to do some rape instead. Oh, and we got Caddy all the best stuff. Fireballs, rockets, disco floor, finger lasers, fog machines. Oh, cool! <laughs> Thank you, Gil, for uh, whatever that was. It was a poem in Dolphinese. Sure it was. All right, now for our next act. Let's welcome Cathy Noir. Um, I guess there's no Cathy Noir. Come on, she has to be around here somewhere. Cathy Noir, Exto Monstro. <laughs> Because we all, we all are shooting stars. I am the light in the dark. 
For every one of you there is a song From outer space above to your hearts I didn't know you girls were here. Caddy, you really do have an incredible voice. You mean that? See for yourself. For every one of you there is a song From outer space above You know what? Forget big new looks or moves or crazy rockets. The ghoul in that video, that's the real Caddy Noir. And that's who everyone wants to hear tonight. I really do love my fans. But what about the big shooting star incident? Oh, Caddy, when you get up on that stage tonight, don't think about that old video. No, think about this one instead. <laughs> I'll do it. No act! Bow, 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 bow! Huh? Give it up for Bonzi and Skelly! Next up, we have Laguna Blue and Frankie Stein. Monsters and ghouls, put your claws and flippers together for Laguna Blue and her totally not last minute rocket boots! Is that really safe? Because it looks uh, not safe. Don't worry. I did the math. Dope. Uh, how does she get back? That was not clear when I did the math. But there was definitely math. All right, everyone. That was the last act, so I guess that's the end of the... Wait a minute. What? Whatever happened to Laguna? Thank you, Monster High. When you hold your head up high. Stop! This is too dangerous! We have to try! If this works, it could change the world. With this final scoop of Scary Cherry Crunch, this will be the tallest ice cream cone in history! Hey, cool! Oh! Huh? Ah. Lie. Can't you see? We're in the middle of something important. Can you please wait one minute? Fine. <sighs> hey, Gob. Do you like ice cream? <laughs> well, I don't want to ruin the surprise by saying the ghouls are making that ice cream cone for you, but... <gasps> They're making that ice cream cone for you. Oh, good. You ghouls are finished. <laughs> I need to borrow your mapalog thingy. Why do you want the mapalog? <gasps> Is there a monster that needs saving? Yes, me. I'm bored. So can I borrow it? No! no. Torrelai, the Mapalog is a serious device for saving monsters in trouble and bringing them to Monster High. It's not a toy for your amusement. <sighs> if you say so. That's right. The Ghoul Squad does important things. Now, back to the ice cream stacking. Oh, what if we made it an ice cream pyramid? Who's with me? Hello? Uh, yes. I'm a lost monster who's lost. Can you help me? 
Yes, of course. Just tell us your name and the goal squad will be right there. My name? Uh, it's, a uh, Blum Na Na Na. What's that? Blum Na 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 Na. Um, where are you calling from exactly? Uh, something strange about that one. Either way, we should look into all lost monster tips just to be sure. But do we know enough for the Mapalog to find her? Only one way to find out. Laminamina Exto Monster! I don't get it. We're at Monster High. Very good, Frankie. I always knew you were the smart one. Later. Hi, get back here! Okay, Mappy. Zap me someplace sandy and fun. Come on! Hurry before those ghouls catch up! Now, take me somewhere fun! Torelai, give us the mapalog. <sighs> I want my paws in the sand! Sensing you two are a little angry. No, we're not a little angry. We're a lot angry. You broke the map log, which means we're stuck here with no way of getting back to Monster High. Eh, we'll worry about that later. Last one to the top of the hill is a stinky stinker. Well, I am furious at Torlai, but I really don't want to be a stinky stinker. Me neither. Let's go. Well, what do you think, Frankie? I'm pretty sure I could fix it. I'm maybe pretty sure I could fix it? Oh, I have an idea. <whistles> Bonesy, Skelly, can you bring us every flavor of ice cream from the Creepateria? How is ice cream going to help? Well, it's not gonna hurt. This is the biggest beach I've ever seen. With this sun blasting down on us, it feels like we're in the desert. Oh. Um, I know desert sand, and this is not desert sand. Maybe we're on an alien planet. What makes you think that? Ask him. Why? And ew. Any ideas? Uh, run? I like that idea. Shrunk. Wow, Torlai, when you break a map log, you really break it. Oh, I can see the ghouls. They're right over there. And they're getting ice cream without us. <sighs> ghouls! Ghouls! Hey, um, do you ghouls hear something? <laughs> It's no use. They can't hear us. We're gonna have to work together as a team if we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, sorry, ghouls. I don't do teamwork. Besides, this kitty's got claws. <laughs> hey, you know what? Who wants to be in a team and solve this with teamwork? <laughs> Make like a mummy and follow me. There. I think that's it. So can we go find the ghouls now? Only one way to find out. Laguna Exto Monstra! Oh. Laguna? Cleo? Where are we? Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Uh, Frankie?
Frankie. Uh-huh. The map log is still broken. Mm-hmm. If we don't find a way out of here, we're lizard food. That's it! Maybe we can buy ourselves some time if he isn't so hungry. Do you girls have any food on you? I have this candy bar. Fantastic! Uh, I was kind of saving it for later. Torrelai! Fine. I've got some saltwater taffy. Cleo? Oh, I have cherry flavored lip balm. Does that count? Okay, I think I really fixed it this time. Cleo Exto Monstra! Where are we now? I don't know. But wherever this is, we are nowhere near Cleo and the ghouls. Do we have anything else to feed the lizard? Anything that's not me? Hmm. Okay, well, maybe we're closer to the ghouls than we think. Hmm. Cleo, do you think you could throw one of your wrappings up there? I could, but there's nothing for it to grab onto. If I could just get to that ledge with a wrap, I could pull you two up with me. Oh, I think I have an idea. But we're going to need some bait. Why do you two keep looking at me like that? This is exactly why I don't do teamwork. Okay, ready, Laguna? No, but that's never stopped me before. Go, Tarlai! Hey, li lizard, lizard, lizard. No. <gasps> yes! I could fix it in your face, Mapalog! Good news, ghouls. We're here to rescue you. Good timing. You would not believe the day we had. Let's just say it was quite an ordeal. Uh huh. So, where are we anyway? <laughs> Lizard Terrarium got it! Science from Exo Monstrum! <laughs> all right, all right. Say, ghouls, uh, now that we're a team, or whatever, can I borrow the mapalog again? What? Oh, here it comes. You're going to lecture me about breaking the mapalog, aren't you? Uh, well, go on then. Let's have it. What's their problem? <gasps> ah! uh, we should probably go save her. Yeah, we'll help her. But Bonesy and Skelly worked really hard on that ice cream pyramid. It'd be rude to not try it first. Torlai will be fine. She has lots of running from giant lizard experience. <laughs> Ghouls? Hey, save some of that for me. Yeah.